When adding and subtracting with polynomials, all you need to really do is keep an eye on collecting like terms. So an x to the 8 can go with another x to the 8. You can't combine uh, 2x squared and x cubed, though, for example, because the order of the x's are different. You can only collect those that have the same order or the same degree. So if I have x squared plus 3 plus 2x cubed minus 5, then I've got the 2x cubed. I can't combine that with the x squared. They are two different entities, two different terms. But the 3 and the minus 5, they can combine and make the minus 2. For number 2, we've got a 3x minus 2 take away x squared minus 4. So I'm going to have this minus x squared. Uh, for singular x's, I've got the 3x. And then I've got minus 2 take away minus 4, so plus 4. So minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2. So I'm looking for the highest order x first, then the next highest, then the next highest, and so on, until I hit that constant term. So I've got 2x to the 8 uh, and a 6x to the 8. So they can combine to make 8x to the 8. Then we've got minus 3x to the 7. And then we've got the plus 2 on the end. Then finally, we've got 5x cubed, take away 2x squared plus 8x minus 7, take away 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 8. So first of all, the cubes. So 5x cubed take away 3x cubed will make 2x cubed. We've got minus 2x squared take away minus 4x squared, so plus 4x squared. So that will leave us with positive 2x squared. We've got 8x take away 1x, so 7x. And then minus 7 take away 8, so minus 15. OK, then that's how you can add or subtract polynomials. Deal with each power of x progressively as you work your way through.